Today we're going to look at pairing up an Audio A Pro transmitter, which is your handheld, to the receiver right here. Now you can tell this one is paired because when I push a button, it sends a round trip confirmation, which is that blinking light. So your remote already comes paired with your unit when it ships, but when you order additional remotes, you will need to pair those up. So when you get an additional remote, you will get a remote and you will get a pairing tool here, which is just a SIM card ejector and you can pick those up wherever you want. As you can see, it doesn't work right now, so we're gonna need to pair that up. So to do that, you go into the menu and you go to remote and then you say uh, remote pairing you can go ahead and say pair new remote. Now it's gonna tell you to look for a little hole right here, which is, you can see it right there, and that you're gonna to need to push that in order to start the pairing process. So I will go ahead and get that button pushed. And then you can see the two are communicating, and then it'll be paired up, and it'll ask you if you wanna pair another one, or you can just go back. Now you can see it's paired up because the round tripping is already working. Now, when it pairs, it will default to the preset of Audio A Pro. If you want to set the spare remote to do anything else, you'll need to select another preset or do custom button mapping. But that is how to pair the remotes. If you're having trouble pairing a remote, you can always go to unpair all remotes and that'll erase all remotes and kind of give you a fresh start. You can pair up to 20 remotes all with different profiles. But that is remote pairing, and this is how to do it. Pretty simple. We'll see you at showtime.